Hey YouTube, it's Misty or Misty Wynette. Um, so today is Valentine's Day. Um, I don't have anything special planned because I'm single. <laughs> so I decided to do a video because um, all you guys on here are in your own special way um, a loved one. So with that being said, um, I have come here today to do a little discussion on non-scale victories and Tamika's um, challenge for today, or the topic for today challenge is non-scale victories. So, um, I had a non-scale victory this weekend, well actually I had two. Um, so it may not be a big deal to some people, but to me it is. So. The first one was I was at my mom's house this Friday afternoon, or uh, last Friday afternoon, and I was sitting on the sofa, and someone just said, cross your legs. And I did it without, you know, when you are overweight and you really can't, like, lift your leg to, like, cross it over to the other side, you had to, like, pick it up yourself instead of actually using your leg to just cross it. So, um, I did it without picking up my leg. That was weird. Like, I actually crossed my legs without having to manually pick it up by hand and move it to the side. So, I was pretty sad. My mom was like, why are you screaming? I'm like, I crossed my legs. It's like a big deal, mama. <laughs> um, so, that was no one. And my second one was, um, later on, well, Saturday morning we got up and went shopping. And I haven't been to Vic Victoria's Secrets, um like to buy actual clothing or undergarments or whatever. I used to go in there now or before surgery was to go like to buy whether it's makeup, perfumes, body gel, I mean shower gel and stuff. So we all went there and I was like, I've lost fifty one pounds. Maybe just maybe I can wear my size I used to wear back when I was in college. So I bought some underclothes. That's TMI in it. Anyhow, I bought some and they fit. Um, I could actually probably go down a little. That sounds weird to be plus size. Maybe to fit Lane, not Lane Bryant. That's my other store. <laughs> to fit Victoria's Secret. But apparently an extra large is like somewhere in between a 9 and a 10. Which is what I wore before I got um, to my highs at, at 316. Um, so I bought them. And they fit, they're not tight, and I snug, they're actually, like I said, kind of loose. Maybe because I'm losing my butt, but that's a whole nother subject. Um, so those are my two non-scale victories for this weekend, and that was pretty, don't go on excited. Um, like I said, just to be able to cross my legs without an issue. Oh, and today I went walking, because it was 69 degrees in Alabama, and I walked a mile without any issues. I know... Not get winded, but I can feel, you know, the work of, of working and walking um, a mile. But it was like a breeze. I did it in probably like 14, 15 minutes, um, which it normally used to take me like 30 minutes. It may be a little bit less than a mile, but um, I, walked across, I walked around my building at work. And normally when you do two miles, probably like two and a half, it's like I mean, two laps. Or two and a half laps, it's like a mile. So maybe I did less than a mile today, but whatever. It was gorgeous outside, and I took advantage of it because um, January it just stayed cold. There were snowstorms and ice storms and hailing and wind and rain and all this. And I'm like, I got to get outside and walk. So all this week, the average is to be um, around 65, 67 degrees. So. I'm taking full advantage of going outside and walking my butt off. Um, as I told y'all in a previous video, my goal for the vase meet and greet. Um, okay, stop. So, I've never been to Vegas. Okay, so I'm like hella excited to meet everybody at Vegas and also to party hardy and. I don't really gamble, so not worry about that. But just to see the lights of Vegas and meet people from YouTube and Facebook, I'm so excited. Okay, so enough of my sidebar. Back to what I was talking about, which I have apparently forgotten 
what the crap I was talking about. Um, yeah, I just drew a blank. I kind of started up by the meet and greet and just, oh, meet and greet. So, in one of my previous videos, I stated that, you know, once I hit 50, I get my tattoo. And as you saw, I got my tattoo with the hurt like crap. And, um, as you can probably see behind me, like right here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Right here. Okay, apparently, as you can tell, I have not changed this number at all. This is my countdown. If you wait, if you watch, excuse me, um, I used to be fat on MTV. They do a countdown through that throughout the summer to lose weight. So that's my countdown for Vegas. Um, and it's not 102 days. It's less than 90 now. So, um, at, since I've made my first goal of losing 50 pounds for my birthday, which is next month, shout out to all the Pisces, yay. Um, my next goal is to be at 240 by May. Now this is before I set this goal back in January and I had no idea that I was going to lose weight um, quick like this. But I'm going to keep my goal as is because um, I never know what's going to happen. So my goal for the meet and greet is to be down to 240 and currently right now I'm at 264 so what 24 pounds to go before May. Pretty sure I get there but like I say all the Lord knows what's going to happen in between now and then. So, okay, I'm rambling. So, I'll let you guys go. And like I said, celebrate your non-scale victories. Be proud of them. Whether it's big, small, whether it be crossing your legs or walking them out, out falling over and fainting. Um, non-scale victories are like all the gems along this journey. Um, once you meet one, you pick it up and you stash it away. Like, doing videos and you go back on some days when you're having a bad day um and just reminisce on them so with that being said i'll talk to you guys later bye